It might look like I'm painting on a piece of leather here, but I'm actually painting on um, a watercolor block that has been stained with some burnt sienna. And I'm using a mixture here of um, white and Prussian blue to block in my sky. And this is a one inch brush. And so I'm excited to use full opaque paint as opposed to um, sort of the, oftentimes I use transparent gouache. And so this will be kind of interesting to force me to have to use fully opaque paint quickly and early on. So using a lot more white here just to kind of quickly block in some clouds. Remembering that clouds are three-dimensional objects. We'll use a little bit of lemon yellow for some more warmth. Some red on the brush. Well, I'm not very pleased with that. Let me clean up the brush. Let me grab a smaller brush. Let's see if I can finesse this a little bit. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put the highlights on that. So I'm gonna mix mostly white here. Just a hint of blue. Just a slight variety in there. Some blending while it's still wet. I'm gonna mix up a little bit of my um, ivory black into some of this cloud mixture to cool it down and to get sort of a neutral gray. And I'm trying to do this for these um, distant trees. A little bit of burnt sienna and a little bit of alizarin to warm it up. Maybe a tad bit of yellow ochre. And let's see. That one. Okay, and then while that's there, I'm going to mix a little bit more burnt sienna into it just to get some variety. And I'm going to use the side of the brush sort of dry brush into the sky. I think I need to go a little bit more opaque there. So a little bit more white, a little bit less water to cover up that burnt sienna underpainting. Use the texture. And the hillside here is kind of a combination of a very light ochre color, so I'm going to mix some yellow ochre with a little bit of black and some white. And I love these big brushes because they can cover a lot of ground. Paint over those edges. I'm okay with like a little bit of the uh, burnt umber showing through in areas like this. But I'm going to come over with it with some more of this gray that we did for the trees, but I'll lighten it up a little bit because it's on the ground plane. So I'm gonna add some white. Maybe a little bit more white. I'm gonna do more of a dry brush. Dry the brush off. Okay, let's get in the road. Let me use yellow ochre and white 
for these highlights next to the road. It's pretty bright. Okay. And then kind of the pathway itself is that color, but it's a little bit browner. So I'm gonna do the burnt sienna. A little bit more white. Uh, a little bit more burnt sienna. So I diluted that a little bit too much. Not too bad for a block in. Okay. Now, I have these trees in the foreground that I wanna get. I wanna put in a lot more texture and things like that. And I also have a green tree that I need to put in over here. Get some of this scraggle here. I'm gonna lighten that up. Add more white. Before I get too far, I want to start putting in the texture on the ground. Mix up a lot of white and a lot of um, yellow ochre, maybe a little bit more yellow ochre than that. There we go, like that. I'm kind of looking for patterns that I see. And I love this dry brush effect. It's a great way to get grasses quickly, efficiently. Kind of like a little ridge line here. You can kind of create some direction in your landscape by doing this. Okay, that's looking more textured and stuff. I like that. I wanna do the same thing with um, these grasses by the road here, but they're a little bit more orangey. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of the alizarin with this mixture. Or maybe a little bit of burnt sienna and yellow ochre. And again, I'm in a dry brush. Let's put in this tree and put in the shadows first, and then we'll layer our highlights over it. I'm actually coming with some black and some Prussian and some yellow ochre. A little bit of lizarin. Okay. While I have that in, I'm going to place this tree trunk here. This one here. in some of these other tones to add variety to my colors. Okay. I need a pretty strong orange. So I'm gonna do some yellow ochre, a little bit of burnt sienna. And I'm going to dry brush this over what we just painted. I'm really struggling to get the brush dry today. For 
there's some of this moss that's growing on these trees. I just love it. Look at this. this strong yellow. It's growing on like a lot of these. And I find that when we're painting like this, it's like the more that I can layer these things, the more that I get a sense of this lighting and color and it just, it creates more of what I'm looking for. Even though I'm almost totally using muted colors. I'm gonna use a super tiny brush to start putting in some details in these trees. And a little bit more water, because this brush is so small, it doesn't hold hardly any paint, so you're having to dip back into the paint quite often. Some foreground texture here. that just to create like just like some of the scrub and Force the shadow on this guy. So I'm losing some depth there. I need to reinforce these too. Okay, so now I want to come in with some highlights for the grasses and the trees. So I'm going to mix up quite a bit of white and yellow ochre. By using like this sense of contrast and texture, it's going to give me a lot more um, focus right here. And these overlapping shapes really help create your depth. Okay. 
and there's actually like some highlights in the trees. These really delicate lines with just the tip of the brush. Just a few spots on here for some texture. Bring that down a little bit with just a little bit of burnt umber so that we get some color variety. Come in with um, more of a gray. Kind of like we used for the sky. Add a little bit more white into it. Dry the brush off. It's still too dry, too wet. love this depth, like look at this depth we're getting. Depth of texture. And it, that's what gives you this sense of light, texture. I love doing this. I'm just scrubbing the side of the brush and letting, letting the water watercolor paper, the texture of the paper do work for you. Some of the texture down here. Just a little bit more white to that. grasses and a little bit more yellow ochre into this. dance across the page. And soften this a little bit. I think I need to reinforce this foreground dark here. Reinforce the light. There we go.
you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.